<clears throat> hey, welcome back to Lamb Chop Builds. As I mentioned in a previous video, I was going to do some uh, bare metal foil. I think we're going to attempt it now. I do not have any on this car yet. My plan is to put it, grab a little pointer here, something to use. I want to trim this area out right here around the scallop with bare metal foil. And I believe I may do around the seats right here also. Scallops on both sides leading to the front of the bumper right here around and back up. I've got one strip of the bare metal foil right here, black. I hope it looks better when it's, it looks different when it's off the paper. I think it might be a little transparent, which is what I was hoping for. I've not used it before. The black chrome. Because in a way it only looks like gloss black paint. If that was the case, I could have painted gloss black and been done. I've, I've watched a couple videos. On using this stuff, not a lot. So I'm a, a rookie, fresh rookie here. So I'm trying to do as much of this as I can in the camera right here. Let me move some other pieces around so I get a little more room for my arms here. And I've heard reviews on this. Uh, the black chrome is not that good. I've got a brand new number 11 blade. I probably should use a scalpel blade, but I don't have any. You know, my first time. This is a fairly new blade and this knife also. So I'm going to use this to cut them. You want to use this knife just to cut it on the body. So we'll see what we're going to do here. Get a little bit of a measurement. So we'll cut here. Let me find my straight edge. Just want to get a nice little straight edge here. Just want to cut this. As much as I can, get a nice straight line on that. There it's peeling up. Where my tweezers go. No, it's not going to be any transparent on this at all. Let's see what we got here. Oh, come on. So I have to do this in sections here. I know how maneuverable this stuff was. So let me see if I can get a cut on it right here. Close enough. Stick that back. Use this piece up here. If this ends up being a hack job, well, it never hurts to try something once. And it'll let me know if I want to attempt it again. With another car. Yeah, I'm burnishing in good here with the uh, Q-tip. I'm 
trying to let it form around here. I was going to watch the uh, 500 today, but we got uh, this one until tomorrow. That broke. It's such delicate. It does look like black paint. I've seen some say you can wear through the black on it and you end up just with aluminum looking paint. So we'll see. This is not going to be any kind of show model at all. It'll just be a display piece that I like. One thing I had, I want to compliment on this MCW paint. It's how quick it dries. It dries nice. In a short amount of time. I think my kids will be hollering at me here in a second. Heard her upstairs. Daddy. And I heard the door open. Maybe not, though. There we go. Got that kind of settled in. So if I holler, hold on. Yep. Daddy. Yes, honey. Uh, through the yard. Love you. Yeah, she's going to her grandma's. Wanted to ask if she walk over there. Cut another strip out here. <laughs> I don't know if I should leave that on the car for a while before I go to cut it off. I don't know if it wants to. Sit for a while and be better. We'll see. Someone, I need to pull the mirrors along a piece on this one. I'll take me to the front to here. There. There we are on that. Back to what I was saying about this MCW paint. Very nice. It dries nice. You can almost handle it within a couple hours painting without any issue. Come on here. Don't, don't rotate on me. The adhesive on this seems to be okay. Which I know there's some with the chrome, trend, people using the, 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 the chrome ones. The, there was a batch, I guess, probably. It was, didn't stick real well, and I would, I would guess that was probably during COVID. 
and the quality was kind of bad on everything because of the lack of people working. But I don't know. Be my guess. Need another little piece to trim up to finish the front here. A little too much, but it don't hurt. Come on. I might get done with this like a third grader done it. And I don't have a, like, I know someone used, some of them use a real pointy tip, Q-tip. I'm going to use a, I got a toothpick I can use to help. Get it down in the. I don't want to scrape it or tear it either. Ain't looking bad. It'll look okay, the gloss. It's not the look I was going for as far as the chrome look with the gloss black trim when I once I get it cut. It may look alright. It looked it look different. Different enough for me in my build here. On this car I blacked out all the chrome. The windshield trim here is black. All the headlight, taillight bezels, black. Bumpers, black. I did keep... Let me find it here. Where would I put it? Took it out. It's around here somewhere. The grill section. I did paint that. I was going to leave that black. And I decided to paint just a little... Fins, the, the fin piece of it, the uh, body colored. So that's going to look pretty good. A little accent in the front of it. I seen a video once. I can't remember who it was. They made bare metal foil. Homemade. It's along the lines of putting some uh, Mod Podge or something on foil. Put it in the oven for a minute. I can't remember. Seems to me it worked. You know, that's the angle he's going for with it. Oh, I need to lift that just a little. There. And I used for to mask this I was in the previous video, as you guys seen, I used a green painter's tape, and that stuff worked fantastic. I was worried about it bleeding a little bit, but I think if I was using a rattle can and in my the old days, laying it on thick, it'd run, 
sprinkle up the tape but using airbrush you're putting on so light it ain't gonna do a whole lot Got another strip yarn. Yeah. At the bottom or the top curve for the finger. Kind of a long piece, but I'll need by that long. Let's cut that. Right there. Leave the feel free to leave a comment if you see something I'm doing. He's like, man, that's there's a whole lot better way to do that. Let me know open to feedback like that. Don't bother me one bit. Or if I'm doing something you're like, hey, I never thought of doing it that way. And you try it and it works for you. And let me know. What works for me may or not work for you and what works for you may not work for me, but I'm willing to try a lot of different things. Uh, curling up here. Let me start the back. I work my work its way around here. Oh, come on. This stuff is super thin, super fragile almost. Use my tweezers here to remember the chalk ones. Clean these off. Softball tryouts at high school start tomorrow. So I'll be in a couple more, a little more than a month, will be the first scrimmage. Then the grind of the season. I need to cut a little piece. Filling a hole, a tear. There we go. As you can see here on this paint. Right here is where I had a hair in it or something. So there was a little piece back here. It's kind of gone and worked itself out. I tried taking it out of there and it made a little bad spot in the paint. Oh well. What are you going to do? I was wearing a hoodie. When I painted, you got a hair or something. I'm off of it.
put a little piece to go around the front of the fender. Then we'll do the uh, seats and it'll be done. I'll have to go a little wider on the seat trim though. It's a lot bigger. Let me do a small piece here. Because then I can do another small piece. And they bend a little easier. You almost need like rubber tip tweezers or something. Could help. Take some regular tweezers, dip them in plastic dip or something. I learned somewhere, right? You got to say, this is going to be the car I have bare metal foil. It's going to be a car you don't mind if it ain't perfect. So you get practice on it. I've got plenty of other old models that eventually I'm going to practice with. Buy bodies or something somewhere. Flea market bodies, built models, practice with, do different things. Yeah, don't hurt if you mess up a five dollar kit that someone else built, and you just want to practice, try a, a new technique. Can't hurt. If you're doing a real good job on a good kit and you're like, man, I messed that. If you'd practiced on something else, it may not hurt so bad. And then I don't know if I'm putting too much pressure when I try this with the toothpick. Not enough. We'll see when I go to cut it here in a little bit. However it turns out, I'm going to be happy with it. Just calls. First time doing something and it seems to me I'm, I don't know, having okay luck with it. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. I need to... When I took this bare motor foil out of the pack, it was wrinkled in a couple spots. I'm like, man, it's what you get from buying Amazon. I could have sent it back, but I didn't feel like messing with doing all that. See, I don't know how I don't know how it's going to work making that contour. Like right here, it feels like it might wrinkle a tad on each side. I don't know if I should do a short piece, then a long piece. I'll do one one way and one the other. How's that? A little short piece. Get that string back out. Come on. Sit down wrong. Oh. 
It's hard to hold your tongue right when you're doing this, ain't it? Set that good. If it does wear off a little bit in the black, oh well. You know, what's the weather going to do? Nothing. Out of here. I need some little scissors. I can save this little tip piece here. I can get my fingers in these scissors. There. Pull that piece over here. Or that piece off, yeah. Looks like it stops right there. The body seam. I just hope when I go to cut this, I'll peel it. I don't, uh, gouge the paint up real bad. I guess that's why it's on this model and not something else. I don't know how often I'll use this. If I like how it looks, I'll, I'll get some of the chrome one and try it on a around the window or something on a car, and it may be my go-to. We'll we'll see later. If I like it. It's not giving me fits, so I'm liking that part of it. If I sit in here about ready to cuss at it, I wouldn't use it too often. But that's part of this hobby. You're supposed to relax and enjoy it, not get aggravated in it, right? I forgot I was going to try it a different way. I think I just like the way it worked on that side. It's carried over. You do see a little bit of a seam if you where they come together. If you're using a couple of different sections, it does show on a big piece. Now once it's cut down to and trimmed, probably won't show it too bad. But for a almost 70 year old car, there's going to be issues with trim, correct? Of 
Chrome is going to peel after all those years. And one little piece I'm going to need. I need a different Q-tip. That's flaring out real bad. Now I know why they're using other Q-tips. These are too fuzzy. Was that old song? Fuzzy Wuzzy Was a Bear. These got more than one hair. And saying that fuzzy wuzzy thing reminds me of God, ruin that little piece. That little thing you do with little kids' toes, this piggy hair or whatever. You know for the longest time when I was a little kid, the pig going to the market. Man, he's going to the grocery store. When you realize that eh, he ain't the market he's going to. It's something else. Okay. Okay, so I'm all set up here. Now, here goes. God. Here it goes. Let's peel that real quick and see how that looks. I'll take a knife plate. Get the bottom half here. See one little spot in the corner here that'll need to be touched up in a little bit. Forty five, forty five, I tell myself. I think I'm gonna have a spot to fix here. Yep. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Little spot right here after my knife walked on me a tad. I was holding it straight up and down and See, so we went over my line here. So if I can salvage it from the door forward here. On this one. Yeah. 
Then I only got to replace a little bit by the door. And we'll be good. Coming along, it's looking okay. If you can see right here, let me get a pointer here. It does give a nice crisp line right there. It looks man for my first time making the complete body line cut. That don't look bad at all right there. I, I'm, I, I admire it. I gotta replace this section back here because I came over. Let's see what I can do through here. Now I may wait to cut. Use this knife. I know this plate is sharper, newer. Keep coming out of the screen here from you guys. I'm sorry about that. 45, like Don Yo said, 45, 45 degree angle where you're cutting. So that's what I try to do. I've watched quite a few of his videos. He was a, a very knowledgeable dude, for sure. To watch his videos, you can kind of see you know, what things changed for him. That piece. Not looking bad. Not bad for a rookie. Single pieces on over there. I've got a couple different pieces filled in right there and whatnot. Yeah, I can tell. 45. Take my time here. I've got a new light here too, and I can I can imagine trying to do this. I need brighter light sometimes. That didn't turn out bad as I thought it was going to. Mm, getting around this curve here is going to be the walked over the trim. 
Come on. There ain't a whole lot of change in depth for like the depth perception on here is not the best. When you're trying to peel a little piece. Uh, yeah, overall, not bad. Let me peel this piece up here. You can see where that walked right there. I guess since I gotta redo it, I gotta redo it. Come on. Not want to come up. Toothpick go here. We'll get a It does leave a little bit of an adhesive. Looks like it feels like. Okay, let's try that section again. Where'd I go here? Still got a good little. Let's try this again, part two. Yeah, it does put an adhesive down. That's long enough. So that's a good thing. Maybe that's why you don't use such a big piece. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. I'll take that as a win. A win for next time. Don't use such a big strip. Like 
Something's getting on my finger. You know, when it comes to building models, I'm not afraid to try something once. And my airbrushing is getting better. Because I wasn't afraid to try it. I, just, I see a lot of people posting on different places like, hey, you know, I want to do it. I don't, you know, you can get in kind of cheap. And to me, the paint the paint's better. My opinion. And it lasts longer. It goes farther. I know you can decant rattle can paint. Do what you want with it. when you have companies out there you can buy a two ounce jar of automotive grade urethanes or lacquers you're getting any color you want where out of the rattle can you're getting what they want to make you I know there's different places you can order Your uh, hold on, your scratch fix paints. I know you can order those. In about any color, also, but they're expensive. corner didn't want to stay and I may not even attempt to fix it yeah not too bad I'm gonna fast forward to the end here I'm gonna take my time here and do these I'm running out of stuff to talk about aimlessly so uh, I'll show you the finish result here shortly one thing uh, I did learn here it's easier to use the end of a toothpick and kind of get the metal off rather than trying to poke at a knot using a knife and poking an edge and getting it as you can see right here I Went through my paint a little bit right there. You know, I think it'll protect the paint a little better. On cutting this side here, I did get a little high spot right here. I'm just going to let it ride. That's because I end up having to cut a line in the paint right here, so I'm just going to leave it. I'll be back in a minute. Almost done. Just got finished cutting these out, and these are going to probably be my, the worst part of it. All right, for my first attempt at doing bare metal foil, I'm going to say I'm about 70% happy. You know, I know it's my first time, so I can't expect perfection. I've done pretty good for my first time. But there's a, it's a finicky product to work with. You know, less less is more, I would say, when you're, Get as get as small as you can in a workable size when you're getting small little areas like this. You know, just a little bit wider because the glue it does hang on for a little bit. I may try a little bit of goo gone or something. Get some of that extra adhesive up. 
it kind of got nasty right here where it overlapped a little bit was the heavy you know and it going around that sharp that curved area it does show some wrinkles so it may not have been the best application for it in that area because i know on the, the instructions call for paint you're painting that area you know so i could understand why but if i was going to do black chrome again i won't use black chrome bare metal foil i'll use gloss black paint you know because just the way it looks it don't look chromey you know But overall, you know, 70%, yeah, I feel, I feel comfortable working with it. You know, if I was doing a nice long straight across like a, a Tri-5 or something, or down the a Nomad, down the side, I'd, I could, I'd be okay. Filling in the, the, the big panel. Yeah. But doing these tight corners right here, yeah, for my first time, not bad. This here, uh, I'd like to see someone do it. They've been doing it a while and just see how it looks for them. You know, I could see using a real big piece across here, you know, contoured a little bit to where, I don't know, putting some relief cuts in maybe would come in neat and clean it up. But, you know, for my first time, I'll take it. Does it add anything to my model? No. Did it make it look worse than it did? Yeah. But not too much worse. You know, from the first time you got to practice on something. You know, for a $13 Ollie's kit that's just going to sit on my shelf a little bit. It's all right. You know, here's the wheels. These tires are, they'll work. You know, it's kind of, uh, it's going to look like this body sitting on a modern chassis or something, I think, with those tires. Those kit wheels come in it. You know, overall, I'm very, I'll be very happy with this. With that, I'm out. Happy modeling. We'll see you next time.